I was appalled to learn that in April, Colombia suspended and evicted six students for their involvement in the pro-Palestinian panel event on campus. There's a bit of a weird situation going on at Columbia University where Isra Hersey, the daughter of Democratic Representative Ilhan Omar, was just suspended by the university a day after Ilhan Omar spoke up in questioning against the president of Columbia University. Now, there's a lot more to this story. It involves this encampment that was just recently set up at Columbia. Let me play for you a couple of videos that show you this. So uh, this was posted by Talia Jane. This encampment was erected at four in the morning, apparently. So they're going to show how it... There. So at four in the morning, uh, students came out setting this up, all these tents. And there you go. So this was shared by People's Dispatch. I want to give them credit here because I, I believe this is their video. They, they talked to Isra Hersey shortly after the encampment was set up, and she explains what this is all about. We are in a huge historic moment right now. I think it's very important for students to organize around Gaza, not only because of the act of genocide going on, but because we've learned that protest is not enough. The university is not listening to us, and we find that escalation similar to what happened in 1968, following our predecessors, our ancestors, and those before us, um, has really showcased that in order for our demands and our calls to be seen and heard, we have to take up space. We have to be visible and we have to really force the, force the university's hand. And that's what we've done here today. And what's your message to Minister Peek in Colombia? Right. And why this timing? What's happening now? Right now, Shafiq and the Board of Trustees, the chairs of the Board of Trustees, are answering at an anti-Semitism hearing about their lack of response to the cries of anti-Semitism. We find that Manoush and the Board of Trustees putting, being put up on a large scale allows for us to really amplify our demands and really anchor ourselves in them, which is calling for divestment, divestment from companies that invest in the genocide in Palestine, amnesty for all students, including the five students that were already suspended from Columbia, as well as full transparency of Columbia University's investments. And we believe that these are, are very in tune with the things that Shafiq will be saying today around student repression, around student protests, and around our freedom of speech. All right, so this is right in line with protests over the Vietnam War, over the Iraq War, history and I mean, many at the time knew they were on the right side of history, but history has proven those activists to be correct. These students here are all, uh, clearly on the right side of history, and this has led to their suspension. So, and I'll get to Ilhan Omar's comments uh, or questioning of the president uh, yesterday. But Isra Hersey writing on Twitter here, I'm an organizer with CU Apartheid Divest. In my three years at Barnard College, I've never been reprimanded or received any disciplinary warnings. I just received notice that I'm one of three students suspended for standing in solidarity with Palestinians facing a genocide. Those of us in Gaza solidarity encampment will not be intimidated. We will stand resolute until our demands are met. Our demands include divestment from companies complicit in genocide, transparency of Colombia's investments, and full amnesty for all students facing repression. Now, there are some images here from... Uh, the suspensions and arrests, just to give you an idea what was going on here. So, I mean, this is just a day later, the university sending in the police to uh, arrest some of these students, or, or at the very least, su apparently now suspending all of them. So initially, as she said here, she was one of three, Isra Hersey was one of three students, then uh, Barnard said it had temporarily suspended some of Columbia and Barnard students who refused multiple written and verbal requests to leave an unauthorized encampment on the lawn and that there were more than 100 people occupying the area. Then they updated later, Columbia announcing Thursday afternoon that it was suspending all the students in the encampment. Quote, we are continuing to identify them and will be sending out formal notifications from a, uh, from a spokesperson. So, uh, look... I can't, I'm not going to claim that 
this question here, which I'm going to show you, is the reason that this happened. I don't think it is. But it is bizarre timing that the day before you have Isra Hersey's mother, Ilhan Omar, questioning the president of Columbia University. Check this out. There has been a rise in targeting and harassment against anti-war protesters because it's been pro-war and anti-war protesters is what it seems like, correct? Correct. There has okay. been... Thank you. Um, activists on campus, including Jewish students, black and brown, Arab and Muslim students. How many of the organizations that were canceled in Colombia involved Jewish students? One of the organizations is called Jewish Voices for Peace. Yes. And encompassed of Jewish students? Yes. Okay. Thank you. There was a uh, there's there's been a recent attack um, on the democratic rights uh, of students across the country. I was appalled to learn that in April, Colombia suspended and evicted six students for their involvement in the pro-Palestinian panel event on campus. It happened that all six students were arbitrarily targeted after you, the university brought in a team of private and former police investigators. These investigators harassed, intimidated Palestinian students at their homes, demanding to see students' private text messages and sent threatening emails to the leaders of those pro-Palestinian groups. And then bizarrely, a day later, her daughter is suspended from Columbia, or I should say from Barnard College, which is a part of Columbia University, for protesting the university. Now, just to show you, this was apparently taken uh, this was shared by Sabas. Update students have taken to the streets to prevent the corrections buses with the students from leaving. The student bodies on the side of the encampment and Palestine. So you have here students blocking the correction buses from leaving after taking all the students off of the lawn. Look, I, as I said earlier, history will prove these students to be correct. I think it's obvious now that they're on the right side of history. They want some accountability from the university and they are correct to do so. There's no violence here. These are peaceful protests. The easy way, or the maybe not the easy way, but the simpler way, the more logical and rational and humane way to put an end to the encampment is to simply do what they're being asked to. Divest, showcase that they are not investing in uh, various organizations that are in support of the apartheid government, but... The university, of course, is unwilling to do that.